Uh, so, you know that chess puzzle? Yeah, that's a pretty good puzzle. Remember that picture we saw inside that showed like a, the placement of all the pieces? Well, that doesn't matter. All you have to do is this. You have to push them all off the board next to the their designated flags. So that's... That's a design, I guess. Great over a hole. Nothing's inside. My mouse is there. Let's get that off. Whoops. Dirty plate. And it says what? I don't know what that is. Candle stand. Nothing interesting. I guess this is a living area, though it looks more like a prison. Maybe it is a prison. Oh, they're, they're all gonna be like that. But you, you know, I'm gonna have to look through every single one just in case there's something. I'm probably gonna have to memorize. Let's see, you gotta look at everything. But I'm probably gonna have to memorize all of these. That's that. No, that's not it. Oops. Ah, of course. I hear someone talking like really far in the background. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, I guess we can't go into any rooms if it's not where we're supposed to go. Okay, come on. Oh. Richard! Oh, we're here. Keith! David! D do you know where Sophie is? She's gone? I just looked away for a second and she wasn't there. I, I can't find her anywhere. He, he might have kidnapped her. Calm down. Start from the top. Telling such a thoughtful papa just to calm down won't do any good, you know. Where? You. Did you take my daughter? Where's Sophie? Ah, Richard. So scared your daughter will leave this world as soon as you're not looking. Just like your wife was robbed from you by a robber's gun. Whoa. Don't listen to him, Richard. Your wife was such a cheerful and lively lady, Richard. But the truth is, she was an unbelievable idiot, leaving herself in the care of a useless man like you. But it must have been a happy death. Just one bang, and she was gone. And what a beloved daughter she left behind. You fawn over her so. A real memento of your dear wife, yes. But humans do tend to die so easily, as I'm sure you're well aware. Stop it. Calm down, Richard. Don't listen to a word he says. Oh, poor Richard. Alas, the Grundlers are down to just one Grundler. But don't you cry. You'll be the Grundlers again soon. In hell. Don't you dare insult my family! What did you do with Sophie? Give her back this instant! If you even lay a finger on her, I'll- You- You monster! Richard, settle down! Well, I guess I'd better go. Cute little Sophie is waiting for me. Let's head back to Lance and Shirley. I'm so sorry. I never even noticed she was gone. And where was she? The bathroom. Thought she had to take a piss, but she never came back out. So we busted down the door and she fled the coop. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm playing. She's a little bigger than a dead goldfish. Ow, why was that so loud? That little brat. Surely, you think he can get in the vent above the bathtub? Way too tight. My shoulders won't even fit. She's small enough that she could have, though. 
You mean Sophie snuck out on her own? She couldn't sneak in through the windows. It's a sheer cliff outside. And I checked the rooms for any weird tricks when it first came in. The rim of the bathtub has marks made by heels, and some dust fell from the vent above. So she must have climbed up on the tub to get in there. That scrawny, <clears throat> delicate girl could easily crawl through. Richard, wait! You can't go alone! Please let me go! That fiend has Sophie in his grasp! We need to find- Not yet, he doesn't. He's the kind of guy who puts out corpses for show. If he'd caught Sophie, he'd gladly flaunt it, I'm sure. He must have overheard Richard looking for Sophie and decided to meddle. We'll find her before he does. Come on, David. A and me too! You stay here. You're out of sorts right now. If you tried anything sudden, I couldn't guarantee your safety. Wait! Please, you must find her for me. She's my one and only daughter. After my wife passed away, I couldn't look her in the eye for quite some time. But still, she's grown to be a wonderful girl. She's my pride and joy. If anything happened to her, I... Sorry. We'll find her. Just wait for us. He looked really angry in that picture. <laughs> oh, really? Is this what we're gonna do? Uh huh. Oh, we can come in here now. Old scars and pipes. The tongue in which these slaves speak is so savage I can't remember even a word. I had the servants translate and type some words for me. It should do well to sell this it should do well to sell this dictionary to my countrymen. Since it can become so boring around here, I suppose I may as well try to learn. For if they should be saying anything impertinent out in the fields, I'll set them aflame on the spot. It's one way to pass the time, I suppose. If you expect me to remember that, you're you're a, you're a bit crazy. You're oh my. Mm. What? Comparing the paper with the dictionary, you got the gist. Oh, thank goodness. My companion, I am to enter the dungeon. I know that my head will be taken off, displayed outside as a warning. I am sorry that I was unable to find, to hand it off to you. Please be careful. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Comparing the paper dictionary, yep. Fellow prisoners, we will bear this no more. It is time we stand up against these tyrants. We will fight for our companions laboring on the outside. I have obtained a key that will let us get outside. We will wait until night, enter the garden, and join with our fellows in the fields. We will watch vigilantly and take the castle for ourselves. Four of us will pass the key from one to another each day in the same order as the song our people know. Well, that also did not help me. Ugh. key for. Whoops. According to the letter, a key to get outside from where? Games expect me to remember the layout very, very well. I'm placed by ropes. Uh, I, I don't know what that would do. Ah, why? Ah, why? Why do I have to be so loud? Untie the ropes and turn the valve. Rest that iron door, which won't open, and seems to be locked. Well, I certainly know what that did. Those are vines. Oh my goodness. 
Water pours out of the hole in the wall, filling up the depression in the floor. Okay. okay. Uh, cool. Why is everything in this game so loud? Alright, well, I'm not entirely sure what that did. Oh, oh. That, that was the game, by the way. Okay, only does it once. Oh, well, this isn't much better. Um, hmm, interesting. This is like an open world area. the fountain. Anything up here? Is it a dead end? Nope. We're still on in the castle. Well, I guess it makes sense since we're kind of up in the floors. No? Are you not going to talk about that? No? Okay. What kind of stair design is this? Usually these old castles and stuff had like, you know, solid bottoms to their stairs. Not just having them dangling. Sophie? That was that was Sophie? It sounded like an animal. Step back. Why did it have to be like this? On our first vacation in ages. Wonder if Helena's okay. Is something the matter? Why did you marry Mr. Keith, Helena? Why do you ask that? Lately, I felt like my heart doesn't ever beat fast anymore. I can think people are great and all, but that's it. I can't get excited about them like I used to. It's like I forgot how to love. David and Shirley get along really well, so I'm jealous. And I don't want to be by myself forever. So I'd like to know why you and Mr. Keith decided to get together, Helena. You know, love is like a jewel. It's buried deep in a person's heart. And one day, you just dig it up. Feelings like love and sympathy can create all different kinds of jewels. So jealousy, anger, and pride can shatter them too. Have you ever found such a jewel? Yeah, but I got rejected. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll find it again. I hope you can make a wonderful jewel someday. So what's your jewel like, Helena? Mine is already complete. I don't want to meddle with it anymore. I just... I want to keep it deep in my heart. It's so windy. <laughs> Your hair's a mess, young lady. We should get back inside. God, her accent is so heavy. Ah, uh, no! No, no, no! Oh, I guess I'm controlling her now. Interesting. Ah. Let's. Uh, well, I'm running out of time. By the time we do the next dialogue thing, I'm probably going to have a hell of a time trying to cut it down to 15 minutes. So I guess I'll just end it here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.